Right guys, Gemini back with another video and thanks for coming in and checking the channel out and hearing what I have to say. I really do appreciate that. Not easy for a struggling YouTube video maker, but you know, we carry on with what really matters in the end and that's professional wrestling and that's why people come to these channels. Not for theatrics or girls or tricks or anything like that. Hard hitting professional wrestling talk. It's what I do here. Okay, today, why did Bret Hart fail in WCW? Why was his uh, WCW run a failure? In my opinion, his run in WCW was a fail because, no pun intended, he never had his heart in it. He never wanted to be there. Bret never wanted to leave the WWF in 97 after he got screwed at the Survivor Series November 9th, 1997 in the Bell Center. Bret never wanted to be there. So I think he came into WCW with uh, huge money and I don't think his heart was there. And I don't think WCW had a clue what to do with him. It was really strange the way they handled him in WCW. Like for instance, his first big gig was, uh, I mean Nitro's whatever, you know, he'd come out and you weren't sure if he's on the NWO side or WCW side and you weren't really sure. But then Star K97 rolls around and uh, this is how they debut Brett in WCW. They decided that they're going to have Brett just all of a sudden decide that he's a special guest referee and restart the match between Hogan and Sting after Hogan had pinned Sting. And so you're kind of like, what the hell? Brett the Hitman Hart, one of the greatest world champions of all times, is now a special guest referee. And then one week they would have him turn on the NWO. And then one week they would have him, uh, you know, be with the NWO and be with Hulk and be a good guy one week and be a bad guy the next week. And then, uh, I don't know why my phone's calling, fuck that. I'm going on about Bret Hart. But anyways, uh, totally killed my buzz. But anyways, WCW just didn't have a clue uh, what to do with Bret. Was he a good guy? Was he a bad guy? Was he with NWO? Was he against NWO? And everything just fell apart. His brother dies. Bret disappears from TV for a while. Comes back. Uh, all of a sudden, they're going to have him start doing some stuff with Goldberg. This never turns into anything really good. And then uh, Brett gets hurt. Goldberg kicks him. And uh, Brett's kind of hanging around and doing these interviews with me and Gene on the beach and talking about the future. And then they finally give him the world title at their uh, tournament. And he's a WCW world champion. And uh, he just kind of like scratching your head like, wow, Brett's the world champion. But now, now what? You know, why is he the world champion? Why, is it, why wasn't he the world champion from day one? You know, it just, it just didn't make sense. I'm curious to get you guys' comments on why Bret Hart failed in the WCW. I think it's just mismanagement, and I think it's the fact that he didn't want to be there. Leave your comments below. We get my phone call. I'm curious to see what you guys think on Bret failing WCW. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.